the lens is still fogged up because of the water. Everything's wet. So we're heading out on day, I believe it's 107. Going into Connecticut. Pretty morning. Got the fog and the sunlight coming through. Look at that. Just picture what it smells like out here. It's awesome. The dampness. I don't think there's any hope of really drying out today. But it's good to see the sunshine. I think the only way to dry everything out is going to be if I can get somewhere where I can spread everything out of my pack and let it sit for a half hour to an hour. So we'll see. See how it goes. There are some people talking about going like splitting a room like five ways <laughs> in town just so that we can have a place to dry out and regroup a little bit after yesterday. I mean, it was, it was, that it might be the most rain I've seen on the whole trip in one day. It was torrential downpours all day and lightning and thunder most of the day. So it was quite an experience. Trails are muddy this morning. Slick. So it's going to be a little slow going. I've got just under 13 miles to go before I hit the town of Kent. Connecticut and uh, looking forward to seeing another state and somebody told me last night I don't know if this is true I haven't even verified it or looked in the book that Connecticut is only about 45 miles or so which would be half a week to get through there and then I'd be on to Massachusetts so I'm looking forward to going through some short states and uh, getting up to the big guys up up north We'll talk to you later. Well, there we go. Let's see if I see anything interesting here. These are just a list of all the spots will be in here. And that doesn't give me a distance or anything like that. There we go, Connecticut. So only a couple miles into the Connecticut section, opinion for so far, blazes on the tree indicating a turn. Never saw that in New York. If I did, it was only once or twice on those good sections that I pointed out. Uh, there's no overgrowth on the trail. So far, haven't seen any blowdowns on the trail. Then you get to your next turn and that's lab that's marked. Then you look up ahead and you can see the next blaze. It's a quite a nice change. I'm not hearing a steady drone of highway traffic like I was like pretty much the whole time in New York. Um, doesn't have it hasn't had any beautiful vistas yet. Actually, it may have. There was a blue trail leading to a, a view, and I didn't walk out there. Um, so it's uh, it's nice. So far, so nice. I mean, lime originated in Connecticut, so maybe they're a little more cautious about keeping their trails trimmed back. I hope so. But uh, so far, it's a pleasant experience. Not to mention the, the nice change in the weather from yesterday. So we'll see if it continues. Hope for the best. Look at more good labeling. There's a sign indicating a shelter is this way. Another sign indicating a turn this way. And there's no graffiti on it. <clears throat> that was another thing that was disgusting me about in New York was the graffiti. I felt like I was in a subway somewhere at times. It was just nasty. Just my personal impression about it. Other people may have liked it. I don't know. But that was me. I don't care if I ever go back there again. Look at this. Well-groomed steps, huh? <laughs> I mean, this is not necessary, but it's nice. I put a lot of effort into it. I like that one section in New York, so pretty nice. Onward. Stopped at the first shelter in Connecticut, and uh, I'll give you a comparison here. This was built in 1995, so it's 22 years old, and uh, 10 mile sh river shelter is called the rivers down below. 
And look, if you look at the inside on the walls, there's no graffiti. And it's very neat. There is a couple marks on the top. It looks like somebody wrote something with their lighter on the metal roof. So that ain't cool, but otherwise it's really nice. It's kept nicely. The big looks like a big preview around the corner over here. Beautifully kept around here. So once again, nice to be here. Crossing over to Ten Mile River. Came into the town of Kent, Connecticut. It's a quaint little town. It's got a lot of little shops, a little on the expensive side. So uh, we weren't able to stay here in Kent because of the cost factor. Um, but we did find a place a little bit on the outskirts of town. Uh, that's reasonable. We're going to split it four ways. And we have a uh, person who works for the AMC, the Appalachian Mountain Club, um, who stopped by and saw us all outside of the deli. There's a group of hikers there, probably about almost 20 of us. And um, he was talking to us, and I asked him if he knew anybody that ran shuttles, so he's actually coming to give us a ride to the motel. So that'll be cool. Got a free ride to the motel. And uh, so we're heading out in a few minutes. So I just went down to the local IGA to resupply. So that's where we're at now. And uh, just finishing that. And headed back to meet my other three people at the deli. And then we'll wait for the ride and we'll head over to the motel. Talk to you later. Day 107, heading out of the Duchess Motor Lodge. Looks like it might rain again today. Of course, we had one day with no rain, so I'm sure we're going to have more rain. Looks like it's in the forecast for the next four or five days, whatever. So, we'll see. Hopefully, it won't be steady. Talk to you later. Ride back to the trail from AMC member. Uh, Roy's over here. Say hi. Oh, Ray. I'm sorry, Ray. <laughs> we thank you so much for everything you've done for us and the ride, and it was great. And it was really nice to visit your town. Awesome, man. Take care. This is Caleb's Peak in Connecticut. Yeah, nice view for it today. Beautiful. A little river down below. And still no rain. It's awesome. Hot. Humidity is manageable. A little bit of a breeze in here, which makes it nice. And I actually got a decent nice sleep last night. So I feel like a million bucks today. I took a couple of leaves this morning uh, for my knee. And that like took away the whatever discomfort I had in the knee. So like I said, another time I'm I'm pretty damn sure it's nothing at all because I don't think a couple of the leaves would help if it was just a little irritated from the, the way I hyperflexed it. So it's a good day. It's a good day. We got a little bit of a late start today, but we're going to try to get about, I think, 17 today. So that'll be respectable with the heat and a little bit later start. Talk to you later. I forgot to mention today, I believe, is a summer solstice, and that's traditionally hike naked day. I will not be subjecting anyone to that, <laughs> so have no fear. Um, and I, I'm hoping that I don't get subjected to it by other people. <laughs> so, And I will not show you if I do, but <laughs> I'll let you know about it if I do. Take care. Got a nice... Rock scramble going downhill here. This is nice. You can check out the steepness of it. It goes all the way up. That's a lot of fun. Like in Connecticut. We got a pretty section of the woods here. About five miles of a flat walk too. This is very rare on the AT. So we're enjoying it much flat walking like this. During this flat walk, we had the river next to us most of the way. 
can see it through the trees. There we go. And a uh, nice shady trail. And flat. This is awesome. <laughs> wow. This is like a day off. It feels fantastic. This is the first trail cat we've seen. Seen trail dogs hiking with people, but this is the first cat. Yeah, it's Kit Kat. That's Kit Kat? But in uh, trail name is Trail Cat. Oh, Trail Cat. <laughs> Is it okay if I show you folks? And he and he's hiking with these people right here. And uh, how far has he come? Hudson River. From the Hudson River. So how many miles is that? About 50 maybe? Yeah. yeah. And he just walks with them off leash. Wow, that's amazing. That's a cool cat. Some of the pastures in Connecticut on this beautiful day. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Summer solstice today, folks. Pouring rain again. Will we ever get nice weather is the question. Maybe when we get up north. Let's hope so, because I've had enough of this. Rain pouring down. Sun shining. Doesn't know what it wants to do today. It is pretty though. Wow, look at that. I don't know if it's capturing it, but it's gorgeous. Whew. Wow. What more to say? Wow. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing. First it was a fat man squeeze, then it was the lemon squeezer. Now we have split boulder to walk through towards the end of the day, towards the middle of our last climb. So, I won't be able to film it, but that's what we got to go for now. The storms were pretty short lived yesterday. This is the beginning of day 108. And it's a gorgeous morning. It didn't rain overnight. <coughs> so, shoes and socks are a little bit damp. And uh, everything's a little bit damp, but not, not bad at all. So we'll hope for the best for today with the weather. And did uh, a little under 18 miles yesterday. So we're nearing the end of uh, Connecticut before too long. I didn't even check the distance on that this morning, so I'm not sure where. Um, I think uh, the rest of the people I'm hiking with are stopping in a town eight miles up for lunch. I think I might choose to bypass it just because uh, cross factor, it's just not necessary. I have some food in my bag, but there's only one thing that's tempting and it's supposed to be this really good coffee house there <laughs> so we'll see how my resistance is to that but uh looks like a good day and i'll talk to you later it's so nice to have clear water to drink again now that we're out of new york look at that you can buy that at a store it's just as good Right out of this stream. Came from over there, right off the rock. And it is delicious. Some sort of a racetrack down there. I don't know if it's a go-kart track. If it is, it's pretty cool. But just a beautiful view for the morning. the uh, Housatonic River, it's crossing over on a bridge that is actually part of the trail, a little farm over there, this is the Canaan town line, and then we enter the village, uh, the, welcome to Falls Village, the town of Canaan, interesting, Appalachian Trail, this is actually part of it. It's 
still part of the road walk. I can't see what the name of the school is anywhere. Oh, there it is. Uh, Housatonic Valley Regional High School. Going right by the high school. Looks like they're still in session by all the cars out front. Uh, no, they can't be this late, right? Middle of the day. I don't know when kids get ahead of me. I don't know how long we're walking the road for. But it's a nice day out. Sun feels good. Even though I'm on the pavement, it still feels nice. This is a neat little bridge. I believe this is going. Wow, just built in 2016. That's why it looks so good. Um, this is also another section of the Housatonic, I believe. Power plant down there right on the river. I guess it uses water. Um, hydroelectric, I guess. Interesting. As much water as we've, we've had lately with the rain, I'm surprised it's that dry. Oh, some good sized fish in the water down there. Cool. Nice. All right. Just about back to the woods. Somewhere. Got to figure out which way to go here. I don't see any markings. So... I'm guessing it's this way. And I check my, uh, my app on my phone to make sure I'm going the right way. Oh, here it is over here. Okay, see you later. Just went by the 1500 mile mark. Um, about 15, almost 1501 right now, actually. Get about a another three and a half miles to the shelter for the evening, which will put us just about 20 miles for today. And then I think someone told me that the rain is supposed to start again. Uh, some, they said that there was a hurricane down. Texas way that was going to be coming up towards this area and dumping some rain. I don't think the winds are supposed to be dangerous or anything, but should be fun. We need the rain though, right? <laughs> Haven't had enough of that. So, enjoying the heck out of this day. Uh, we're almost done with Connecticut. I don't know if I'll finish it today or not. I haven't looked, but very close if not. So, talk to you later. Hiking done for today. Did 19.9 miles, actual mileage on the trail, over 20 total mileage. And this is the beautiful spot I'm getting my water from for the night uh, to cook dinner. Got my tent pitched. It's uh, not too late tonight because we got a hiking by about a little before 8 this morning, so it's around 6 o'clock now, and it was a tough, tough uh, 20 today, it was a lot of hill climbing, um, but this is just gorgeous, what more could you ask for, look at this, so I'm getting my water right from there, and I'm going to cook some dinner and probably hit the, hit bed pretty early tonight. So you all have a great night. Day 109. And it's a comfortable morning. Getting out of camp at about 8 o'clock. We took a kind of a leisurely breakfast. We're only planning on doing a 17 today. 17 tomorrow. And then a Nero on the third day. Into a shelter that has a lake. And it's supposed to, uh, it looks like almost like a cabin from the pictures. And it's supposed to have a lake where you can swim and stuff. So we're going to go into there uh, kind of an early day. Three days from now, hopefully, uh, when the weather clears. And enjoy the lake a little bit. So it would be a cheap way to enjoy a couple hours of relaxation. Because um, it doesn't cost anything. So... In the forecast for today, rain, tonight, rain, tomorrow, rain, tomorrow night, rain, and then it's supposed to be clearing for 
Sunday, I believe it is, which should be when we're getting in there. So we'll see how the day goes. Hopefully it won't be too bad. I don't know. I've heard conflicting reports on how bad the rain's going to be. So we'll see. This is our first full day in Massachusetts. See how the trail goes, and I'll talk to you later. The mountain laurel's in full bloom right now here in Massachusetts. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Look at how beautiful. They don't have much of a smell. But the, they sure are pretty. Good day. Good day, Say good day, mate. That's my door up there. And where's the crazy Australian? <laughs> He's up in front. Yeah. The trail is gorgeous today. Just met a section hiker and said this is Bear Mountain we're on. Give you a little panoramic shot here. It's a pretty morning. Oh, the breeze is heavenly. Woke up a good, worked up a good sweat already coming up here. There's some scary monsters around here. Ah! <laughs> Morning, Matador. Buenos dias, senor, senorita. Here comes Matador, making it look easy. He's about as he's about as graceful as a water buffalo in a china shop. Look at him. <laughs> it's on it's on film. We could go viral if you fall and split your head open. So Wait, press the emergency thing on your spot. <laughs> Send for help and donuts. Careful, careful there, old man. I got it, I got it. I'm down. Ah, uh, Phew. Made it. You made it to there. But now look at over here. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm just taking advantage of this opportunity to film an expert here because usually I don't have anybody to film because they're so far ahead of me. But this gives you a, a good perspective of what it's like coming down these hills. Eagle Fitness. <laughs> Eagle Fitness. Uh, don't forget the LLC. LLC. Uh, <laughs> Watch out. Be careful. At Eagle Fitness LLC. <laughs> so this is what we have here. It's a lot of fun on this kind of stuff. Here we are at... Sage's Ravine. Gorgeous little pine forest with a stream down there. Wow, this is gorgeous. Man. We are officially out of uh, Connecticut um, into Massachusetts. And I think up up by that Sage's Ravine or whatever it was called, that was a... That was a that was in Massachusetts, so we've been here for a few minutes. Look at that water though, crystal clear, loving it. Oh man, this is so beautiful. Whew. Massachusetts is fantastic so far, wow. Beautiful, loving it. Look at this, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm in love. That last beautiful stretch there that I took a lot of video of, I thought it was all Massachusetts, but I think it was bumping back and forth between Massachusetts and Connecticut, where it near the state line. Because then I hit another sign that said, Welcome to Massachusetts. It's weird. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Where, what state we're in, but wherever we were, either the tail end, northern end of Connecticut, or the very southern tip of Massachusetts, uh, wherever we were, it was it was spectacular. So, I've really never heard that section mentioned on other YouTubers. So, it's a great place to visit. Beautiful vista from Massachusetts. Hazy day. Extremely high humidity, but no rain yet. Glad about that. Even a little bit better view here. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Gotta love this. Woo! Don't want to slip. What do you think, Matador? 
Look at that bird soaring out there. Just riding the currents of the air. Wow. Very nice. Walking along the edge here. Beautiful. Go, Matador. See if it's safe for an old man like me. Holy crap, that's beautiful. Look at that. This is it. I'm the king of the world! <laughs> you hear that king of... I can't say those words. <laughs> oh man, it's gorgeous. Woo! Loving every minute of it. Up that trail there, we found a spot to pitch our tents. There's a little uh, clearing in the woods. So uh, right off the edge of this park, and we're going to spend the night there. So you all have a good night, and see you tomorrow.